Hello, Jenny Hunt here from the Gateway Group of Companies in the United Arab Emirates. Today's chat is going to be about unscrupulous salespeople, so beware. Today my organisation received an email from a company formation company and they were promoting a particular licence in Abu Dhabi which is called the Taja licence and this is designed for entrepreneurs and it's especially for UAE residents. So that can be either Emiratis or expats living in the UAE. And to be eligible for the TAJA license, it's necessary to have an Emirates ID, number registered with the uh, immigration department, which would appear on your visa, and naturally a passport copy. And the aim of the Taja license is really to encourage entrepreneurship within the UAE. So it's ideal for residents that are already in the UAE who are perhaps wanting to set something up on the side of their main job, perhaps trying out a business opportunity or an idea, or they're ideal for spouses that have perhaps moved into the UAE with their husband and they've given up their job overseas but haven't gone into employment in the UAE. So it gives them the opportunity to perhaps set up their own business and use their, their skills. So it's a great initiative and it's been really, really popular. However, my company today received an email from another organization promoting the Taja license and encouraging in individuals to, to sign up for this type of business license. And so we decided to make contact with them to find out a little bit more information about their particular offer. When we made contact with them, we were told that the activity that we were interested in, which in this instance was a consultancy activity, was not available for a Taja license. And they told us that the only type of activity that we could do with a Taja license would be an e-commerce activity. Now we know this is absolutely incorrect. So we asked a few more questions. And for each question that we were asking about a potential company formation, we were referred to using a particular free zone. So because we are actually in the industry, we can tell instantly that the salesperson that we're speaking to is trying to sell us a particular product and not necessarily giving us the right advice that is for our particular business or our venture. And this is really sad to see and unfortunately it's, it's far too common. And as a result of these types of situations we see people a few months down the line or perhaps a couple of years down the line that they've then realized that the license that they have really isn't suitable for, for what they're doing. But to actually be saying to an organization that they actually can't do a particular activity with a, a license when they can is, is really unfortunate. So the purpose of this quick chat today is to draw your attention to this and if you are seeking specialist advice make sure you Speak with an organisation that can give you impartial advice. So somebody that isn't going to be working just for a particular free zone, for example, and therefore selling one particular product. Because it might well be that your type of business could relate to other types of um, either licence structures or jurisdictions. So you should be aware of all of the options that are available before you start making an investment. So how does the Gateway Group of Companies operate? So we would usually meet with a potential client and understand really what their business is, what activities they're involved in, who their intended clients are, and where those clients are located. And that will help us to determine the right jurisdiction for the business. We'll then also look at the type of structure of the business and understand who the potential owners of that business are going to be and then we can guide the client as to what options are available for their particular situation. We're very much about making sure that the client gets the right information in order to be able to make an informed decision. Please take a look at our website gatewaytouae.com. We have a blog section there which has all sorts of information there and it will provide you with a lot of answers to many of the questions that you probably have. Thank you.